Today I'm happy to be participating in the Love Corner Collab, Miguel Blissful Among Women. I am so excited about this. It's hosted by my friend Miguel of Megalitos DIY and his co-host today is my dear friend CJ. She has worked so hard getting everything ready for this collab and we appreciate her so very much. CJ DIY. And what we're going to do is I'm going to paint this in Ballet Slipper by Waverly Chalk Paint. And I'm going to go ahead, get my brush, just like so. And I'm just going to start painting it, just like that. This will probably take two coats, but we want to go over the whole jar and completely get it painted with the chalk paint. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this first coat on. It will take a second coat. Pay attention. Kind of distress that really good in there. Get a little bit down here. There we go, just like so. And there we go. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, now what we're going to do next is I'm going to put the lid on. I purchased this at the Dollar Tree as well. We're going to go just like that. Now I'm going to take some jute twine. Okay. But first, before we do that, I have a little heart, two of them, and a key. So what I'm going to do is First of all, I want to run some antique wax over these and wipe it off. And okay. Just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now so so cute okay what we're going to do now is i'm going to take a piece of rope that i purchased at hobby lobby i'm just going to put it right here on this lip with some hot glue just like so right in the back bow just like this and i always make them larger so i know how big I actually want it and for our little mason jar vase here we'll make it a little larger considering the size of the die cuts then I'm just going to cut it down so let's see this right there that's really really cute and we'll cut it down some more in one second I'm just going to go ahead Actually, let's use this side. There we go. Perfect. Okay, just a little dab of hot glue, just like that. And let's put it right here. Okay, love it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it down just a wee bit. I'm not, I don't want it real short. Cut it down just a wee bit, like so. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to add some white roses because it is Valentine's Day. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add about three white roses. Oh, this is a finished DIY. I think this turned out absolutely adorable. It's farmhouse Valentine vase. I love this. Okay, and on to DIY number two. But first, I'm going to give you information on how to enter our gift away. To be eligible to win our giveaway, you must watch the playlist. Comment the secret word that each crafter will make within the video. And you must reside in the continental USA. Good luck! 
for DIY number two. We have this wooden heart that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Two of the smaller hearts that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. And some of the sticky back lace glitter sheets. Now my daughter purchased these for me in her home state of Ohio. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take our heart, our large heart, We're going to go ahead and remove the hang tag from it. Now, these sheets are not quite large enough for our heart. The little tip sticks out just a wee bit but we're going to take care of that and i'll show you how in one moment now we want to take the backing off just like this and this is really really sticky okay so we're going to go just like this we want that nice and covered there we go just like that okay Nice I'm going to turn it around right away and I'm going to cut it out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut right around the heart just like so. And this is so sticky guys. It's a little bit difficult to cut. Very, very sticky. But that's a good thing because it won't be coming off our heart. Just like so. just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the other side put on and cut out and we'll be right back. I think this turned out absolutely adorable and I just took a little extra piece and put down at our tip. So now what we're going to do is I have these two hearts that I purchased at the Dollar Tree that came in a set of six. And what we're going to do with these is I'm going to take my Recollections marker. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take my Recollections markers and I have the color taupe. Just run it right on down into this heart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to get these painted up like so. These are so pretty, and this wood actually, I believe it's a poplar wood, and it really colors very nicely on these. Okay, so we're going to go, you want to be very careful going into your next hearts, okay? Now, you don't have to so much on this one, because we're going to go ahead and go right down into that one. I'm going to take my jute to the back and run it right through my heart. There we go, just like that. Got to make sure those holes are nice and big. So what we're going to do next is we're going to Put these little beads on our hearts right on the back. We're going to go ahead and just hot glue them right on there. Okay. Take a little bit of hot glue right here. We're going to hot glue this bead right to it. Just like that. Like you want them to be. Okay. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add glue to the bottom of our riser just like so we're going to stand up to do this because we want these right like that perfect awesome okay and you want to let your glue set get it nice and straight okay we're going to do the same here hot glue okay. now right there 
perfect love it love it love it love it okay now you want those to set i think they look absolutely adorable that is really really cute so what we're going to do want these to set really well we're going to take and we're going to make again a shoestring bow out of jute just like so just like that okay all right okay i want to place these right where the original hanger would have gone just like that so i'm just going to go ahead cut this off a little bit trim it up trim it up just like so we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it right there a little bit of hot glue there we go just like that okay same on this side we're going to go ahead and trim it up a little bit that one looks a little big on this side so we're going to pull that down just a tad okay we're going to go ahead and trim this up just like that all right Again, a little dab of hot glue right there. All right, and there we go. Okay, I'm gonna let this glue set. Okay, I have this love sign. Now, I got this love sign from my friend Tammy over at Happiness Created. She sent it to me in a mystery package that we had to do. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this love sign in between. Now we got to see how we want to do this. We'll put it right here. We're going to put it right up here. I do believe. Now we can do it like this. Okay. Or we can do it like this. We can connect it right to our hearts. Like that. Now, I think I like it up here better. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to adhere the love sign just as it is, just like that. I love this. I love this raw look. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just put some hot glue on there. All right. Okay, just like this. Get my heart straight, right like that. Okay. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is so cute. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some baby's breath down. We're going to stick some baby's breath in here. We'll be right back and we're going to call this a finished DIY. DIY number two is complete. I absolutely adore the way this turned out. It is so stinking cute. Okay, everyone. And on to DIY number three. DIY number three, I have this large piece of wood that I purchased at the Dollar Tree, some ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby on sale, and some of the little felt hearts that you can purchase also at Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to take my Waverly White chalk paint and we're going to coat three sides. We're going to coat the top and each side. Now we don't have to do the back so I'm just going to go ahead and leave the tag right on there. Get my chalk paint in here. All right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to give us a good coat of chalk paint. So let's go ahead and start. Now I do like the design on this, but I want this for this project. So, okay. And guys, do not forget to check out the playlist and make sure that you enter the secret word that the creator has in their video to be entered to have a chance to win our gift away. And again, thank you, Miguel, and thank you so much, CJ, for hosting this awesome collaboration. I'm honored to be amongst you guys. All right. I am going to go ahead and put two coats on this. 
All right, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, guys. I'm gonna finish the sides and I'm gonna put another coat on this and we'll be right back. Bit painted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of the ribbon and I'm just, you can make it too long if you want. That's fine. Better longer and have enough than not enough. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn it over just like so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, put it on the back like this. And all we have to do, guys, is hot glue it. That's it. It's just got to be hot glued on there. Just like this. Go ahead. Slide them down over there. Like this. And you definitely want either your finger protectors or your spatula for this one, guys. This gets really hot. Smooth. Take this over here like so. You want to make sure it's straight on the other side. Nice and taut. You don't want it too tight. You just want it tight enough to where it's not going to look loose. Here, some hot glue just so it doesn't come off. There we go. That'll dry really, really fast. And I'm going to use this kind of like not a porch sitter, but it's going to be a counter sitter. I think this will look so stinking cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of our hearts out. Okay, and we're going to need four. We're going to need four of the larger hearts from the Dollar Tree package in red. You can actually use the color of your choice. I'm just choosing red today just like that. I went ahead and I tacked our ribbon down here so I can measure the distance between our heart stickers. Okay. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good right there. I love it. Okay. So right there. Perfect. These are beautiful. All right. Just like that. Okay. And I'll get the rest done. We'll be right back. We have our hearts adhered. Now what we want to do is we want to get our ribbon on. Okay. So again, I'm going to turn it over like so. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it right there. Okay. Get our hot glue already. Go up in here like so. There we go. Just get that out of there. And there we go. And what I'm going to do next is I have these stickers right here. Okay, we're simply going to put L O V E, love, just like that. Okay. If I can get the stickers off, we'll be all set. I'm going to go ahead and do just like this. Okay. We want to get them as even as possible. And these are silver glitter. I think they look really super cool. Cute. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this. Okay. Here we go. Just like that. I think these are adorable. We're not finished yet. We have one more touch that we're going to put on this. Okay. Take our ribbon. I love this. This is so farmhouse. Okay. We're going to go just like so. I'm going to take it like this and this. We're going to scrunch it together like this. Okay. We're going to take jute twine. I'm going to get some jute twine and I'm going to put right around this. Our little bow on there. I think this is absolutely adorable. And now what we're going to do, we have one more touch to add and then we're going to call this a completed DIY. I have the sticker. It's a, a Valentine's Day sticker. It's from the Dollar Tree last year. What we're going to do is I'm going to stick this right down here like this. And there we have it. 
On to DIY number four. DIY number four, I have this sign that I picked up half off at the Dollar Tree for the Christmas sale. And I also have some of the Dollar Tree vinyl. Now, this is the only thing I've been using the vinyl for because I do not care for it on my Cricut. But guys, for projects like this, it is fabulous. I really, really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut enough to go over my square here. Maybe a little bit over because we can always cut it off and better to have too much than too little. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off just like so. And we're going to just go ahead and we're going to stick this right on there. Just like this. Okay. Just like that. Smooth it. That looks really good. So far so good. All right, now, we just have to cut the sides of this because we already have the buffalo check on the sides of our sign. So that's really awesome. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cut this right down like this. Okay. I'll show you what we're going to do if we have hangover. And this worked so good the other day. I did something similar to this, and it worked wonderful. Okay, we have one more project coming up after this, and I'll be announcing my secret word. Just like that. Okay, now, clean this up a bit. Okay, I'm going to grab my sanding sponge. And I don't want to make too much noise, guys. I'm seeing some bubbles. We're going to cover those right up. Okay. I'm going to take my sanding sponge, and I'm just going to go like this. That'll get all of your edges right off. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera so I don't hurt anyone's ears, and we'll be right back side sanded off it came out wonderful and you want to make sure that you have your hanging side at the top so now we're gonna take I purchased this at the Dollar Tree as well I'm just gonna take the back right off that we don't want to paint that because we're gonna hot glue that onto our little uh, sign here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some white chalk paint and I'm going to paint the heart white, the wooden heart white, just like so, okay, just like this. All right, we're going to let this dry and we'll be right back. Glue our heart on, okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whip out my E6000. So, and I'm using my key today and I got the idea for the key from domestic diva Sonia so all right so we're gonna go ahead put some hot glue on this good amount let's roll this over and you want to center this make sure again that your hanger is on there we go just like that perfect oh yeah I like that very good okay just put a little bit of pressure Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our pink sticker hearts. I use these in our last DIY. And we're going to go ahead. And we're going to maybe get this off here. There we go. Okay. Just like so. Right now, these are very sticky. So we want to try to get those right the first time. There we go just like that perfect it looks really really good okay and for our little heart here guys I want to paint this red this has got to be red to go inside our pink so I have the red recollections marker you guys know these are my go-to I love them so we're gonna go ahead 
And then we'll get this done like this. All right. Beautiful. All right. This is absolutely beautiful. Love it. See, hopefully it'll dry dark enough. Yeah, I think it's going to be just fine. Okay, now all we're going to do is hit that with a little bit of hot glue, guys. It should be just fine with only the hot glue. Okay. So let's get it in the center. Now, what we're going to do is I have an idea. Hopefully it'll work. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Down a little bit over. There we go. All right. Love it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I have some lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And what I want to do is I just want to put a little piece of it like so. Yeah, okay. That's going to work. That's going to be just fine. Okay. We'll just do that. All right. That's better. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's much better. And I'll show you why in just one second. Just like that. Not so much a bow. Just you know, just a little ribbon there. Now we're going to take a piece of jute. Okay. I'm going to get a key. Take our jute. We're going to cut it like so. Okay. We're going to do this just like this. Now we want to put in just like a little slip knot, just like this, okay, and like this. Okay, I'm going to hot glue this just like that. Can't tell I get excited, can you? All right, there we go. Just like that. Okay, yeah, that's that's just too cute. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a tack and put it right up here. Okay. So we have to cut these off. There we go. We're going to place a little bit of hot glue, just like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, now, and we're going to put a little shoestring jute bow again. These have been just one of my favorites as well. This Valentine's Day, I've And there we go. Now I'm going to make a little slot for the key to the heart. Okay. I think I'm going to make it a dark brown actually. Now I want to do this. I want to make a dot. Okay. Just a dot. And a slot. Just like that. Dot. Bigger dot. Just like that that i absolutely adore the way this turned out this is so awesome okay on to our fifth and final diy flooring tiles that were samples at home depot and they were absolutely free i have this heart from the dollar tree what we're going to do is we're going to take this part of the heart just like so this is a red marker now, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, guys. I just thought of this, and I'm just trying it out. And it's really iffy right now. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put it together like so. We're going to draw our entire heart, okay, on both tiles. Just on both sides. This is a quick and easy project for some really, really cute Valentine decor. Okay. 
just like that. Okay, love it. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to stencil inside of these after we get them drawn. So I'm going to do this as well. Okay, same thing here. Exact same thing, guys. I'm going to move this up a little more, just like that. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to just go ahead, trace around, just like that. Okay, and there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my stencil brush and I'm going to put our heart back up here and we're going to stencil with some ballet slipper by Waverly. I'm going to take my chalk paint. This is a dry brush method, guys. Okay, and I'm going to pat it on this paper towel and removing probably 75 to 80 percent of the paint okay just like this this is what we're gonna do just like this okay and we don't want this super dark we want to keep it kind of faint okay there we go i'm gonna pick it straight up look at that isn't that pretty i find that to be so pretty Okay, same thing here. All right, just like that. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna go straight on through, guys, just like that. Okay. Goodness, I think I just messed up. We can fix it. Just like so. If you want it faint, if you want it dark, you can do this with any color that you choose. I love this. I think this is adorable. Okay, let's pick it up again. And there we go. That's awesome. Now, here's the effect I'm going for, guys. We're going to separate these just like this and hang them on the wall. And it's ever so faint. But in keeping with today's theme, we have to have a jute twine bow, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to put one on each piece, just very small, a very small jute twine bow, just the shoestring bow again. And then guys, we're also going to make a jute twine hanger for each of these in the back, securing it with a piece of tape so we know that it will stay on. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make these. I'm going to attach them just to the top and we'll be right back. Okay, friends, I absolutely changed my mind again. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I put the shoestring bow on the first one. And on the second one, I am going to put another key. It ties all of our projects in together and I absolutely adore it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just doing this, another slip knot like so. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to tuck this one a little shorter this time we're going to cut it all right and then we're just going to glue it right here right like that okay just kind of some give it some oomph i guess uh, let me see it might look better down here actually it does guys let's put it down on this one okay i like what's going on there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this one down here and we're just going to hot glue it simple 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 just a little bit of hot glue here a little bit of hot glue on our jute and there we go and we have a completed diy now i'm going to put the hangers on this and we're going to hang them for our final vignette and i'll show you guys how everything turned out and how it all ties together and friends my secret word today is smitten s i excuse me s m i t t e n smitten i want to thank you for joining me today if you like what you've seen today go ahead give me a great big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time i upload new video i can also be found on instagram and facebook at glitzy stitches home diy have a great day everyone